We did it, guys. It's season two of the DG special. It's Apartment 7-Eleven. We're live, and here's your host, Dan Gallia. How's it going, guys? Welcome to season two of the DG special. I know what you're thinking. I can't believe you did a season two. Yes, I did. And uh, we're here. And I, I'm, as, I'm in, as in shock as you are uh, because, you know, sometimes you just finish something and, uh, and then you're like, I'm done. I did a whole season of it, now I have that forever, but I decided, you know what I should do? A whole other season of it, and that's where we are now. And I think it was a good time, you know, because uh, a lot of stuff's going on, and I think it needs to be addressed. For instance, in a surprise move, uh, Mohamed Mahimanajad, Mahmoud Mahmoud Ahmadinejad decided to uh, run for president of Iran again. Finally, somebody sane is running for president. <laughs> oh, God. Seriously, though, just when you think it can't get any worse, something else happens, you know? Like, I bet next uh, Mussolini's great-great-great-grandson is going to run for the president of Italy. That's just, uh, I'm just going to throw that out there. If I'm right, you know, then that would be insane. There's no way that's going to happen. Uh, also, the uh, Hubble telescope saw Uranus fart. Uh, not a joke, uh, this is a real gas giant, and uh, they're studying it right now. And basically what's happening is uh, solar wind is bouncing off Uranus, causing auroras to come out of Uranus. Also, uh, Mysterious uh, Universe reported that they also found uh, the magnetic poles that were lost in Uranus in 1986. So, good one. I hope you enjoy those now that you have them back. Uh, you know, I was going to do a joke about Trump because there's always something to say about Trump. Uh, but then I realized it's starting to be like, uh, like none of them really stick out anymore. You know, it's like a thousand people yelling at you and you're supposed to pick one of those people to talk about. It's just there's too many people yelling. Uh, wait, no, I lied actually. Uh, when he said that he was enjoying the most beautiful piece of chocolate cake while he sent missiles to Iraq. No, actually Syria, but he said Iraq. That was probably the worst out of all of them from this week. You ready to start the show, Josh? I'm here, man. Yeah, all right. Just oh. wanted to say uh, Woodhouse supplied us with beer today. So that's really nice of Woodhouse. I was excited about it. Sponsored the show for this episode. Maybe it'll happen again. Who knows? Ooh, that's a... That's I a drink nice beer. Very good. Me um, too. It's delicious. I love beer. I've always loved beer. <laughs> I really like your shirt. Thank you. Thank what you. is it? Uh, well, it's a t-shirt. Is that Cat Stevens? A, um, no, but it is now. That's, that's <laughs> okay. what we're going to refer to. Real men love cats. Um, which I think is true. Real men love cats. Dude. That's his nickname. <laughs> that's what his mom called him. Yeah. That's his childhood nickname. That's pretty cool. I'm, I'm so excited. Uh, we have like... A million great people on the show this season. Uh, we got like Colin Mockery, Nirvana the Band, yeah. uh, like all the people I'll leave out that'll be like, hey, why don't you say my name in that list? Uh, yeah. It's going to be good. You can check out the season schedule on www.dangalia.ca. Um, so we wanted to do something kind of uh, cool uh, because it's our first episode of the season. We want to kind of figure out how's the season going to go? What's going to happen this season? You know, And the best way to do that is with a tarot card reading. So uh, we brought a person that does specializes in tarot card readings, and she's going to let us know how the show's going to go this season. Right. And uh, let's bring her up. Michaela Dyke. Oh, it's great. Tarot card specialty. Oh, darling, darling. I'm looking at you. Here. Ah, so good What's to up? see you. Oh, oh, you? Oh, 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 this is fantastic. I'm so excited. Me too. I'm, I'm, we got I'm, you a beer there. Oh. Yeah, we got you a beer. I knew that this would happen. Yeah. Well... <laughs> So these are tarot cards right here? Nope. Yes, these are my tarot cards. They were given to me. Uh, you can't buy your own tarot cards. You have to be gifted them. Oh. And mine were given to me by a magician studying con artistry as a comparative lit degree. Oh, cool. At the university. That's true. Is that real? Is that real? Can they yeah. teach that? Is it like, do you have to mm. PhD that? You was doing a PhD in three card Monty. Oh, wow. That's I'm good at that game. I believe it. Very true. So I'm, I'm very excited to read tarot for your show. I can't wait to. Um... So can you read tarot for a whole show or do you have to do it for a person? Well, I mean, you do it for a person, but you do it for a vibe. So what I'm going to get you to do, because we're going to do small tarot readings all the show, just put your hand there. And just, just think for a second about something that you want to know about the future. You can just really vibe it down into the deck. Really get it in there. Did okay. it. Okay. All right. 
so excited for you. This Thank you. This is such a good season. I just know it. It's, um... it's very positive. Uh-huh. Oh, that looks like a good one. Yeah, it's it's not it's not bad. I mean, it's it's a tomb. Uh, oh, okay. uh, so it's yeah. it's like rest. So you know you've been. You know what? This is the past. This is the past card, anyways. So you've been at rest. That's that's fine. I, so it just means I'm resting. You were, and okay. So now we've got the okay. present. This I rested. Is, this is the present. Is that card. typically a good card uh, to get? No. Okay. Um, let's just move on. Well, let's take the present. Okay. Well, this is you this is in a good the. One. Present, it's... <laughs> yeah, let's uh, tie it up with swords yeah. all around me. Yeah? So, swords are heroic. is that just like, no, swords are, let me just try to interpret yeah. this, I don't know. But okay, like, all right. So it's... I'm thinking like, the swords are like, protecting me from the person that tied me up. And, because that person's gone, right? Yeah, that's... that's what it is. It's definitely not bad. Is it, is that wrong what I said? It, uh, That's it's, a pure guess. I can't no, be right. It's so close, though. It's perfect. It's per you, it's, Feels negative. you read from the cards. Yeah, let's just move on. Next nice. card. Okay. I would have said the same thing. So, and this is your future, the future of the show, okay. okay? And I've got, like, a really good feeling. This is great. This. Okay. Right. So far, so good. Um, you know what? That's, um... That looks... It says death. It's not as oh, bad a card as people think it is. It's um, but it, pretty shitty. It says death. Oh, How about one. this? How about we stop doing the show's tarot reading? Okay, all right. Josh, you... I don't to Yeah, know actually, you know what? what? Maybe that's oh, it. Maybe right. I'm like, maybe the aura thing, maybe it's coming from you. Why don't okay. you just... This sure. will be great. This, It'll be good, okay? Well, so. death's already there, so I feel mm -hmm. like that's Wait, gotta be Why don't you okay. vibe, just vibe on the card deck for a little bit, okay? Here okay. goes. Okay. All right, okay, now pull the card. I have, okay. Well, I've... Should know. I? I? Yeah, this, okay. is, this is... You can do it. It's okay. going to be better than this. Are you going to guess it? it? Oh, this doesn't... This looks like the... This looks like something like that. Oh. Christmas Carol. It's, um... Is that Tiny Tim? Uh, th two homeless people two. outside. Are you having a fight with your landlord? Ugh, this is awkward. So are all these bad? Uh, is every no, card in this no, deck there's bad? There's good cards. There's cards like, you know... Oh, yeah, they're in there. Okay, we'll keep going. Josh... All right, I'll pick it. I have to pick another one. So is yeah, this like yeah, this the landlord, like, bad landlord card? Well, I mean, it's or? it means that you uh, honestly, it means that you'll be happy yes. even if you're homeless and crippled in the snow. I mean, that looks like Tiny Tim, nice and he was pretty happy. I feel like wasn't he? Just thought it'd be a light tarot yeah. card but night. But go ahead. Oh, okay. Well, do you want to pull? Okay, that's your pass. So, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So like you would have been happy the whole time, and then. Okay. Oh, that's again. Oh, yeah, okay. this is one of the worst cards in the deck. Okay, just put it back in the deck. So. What is that, a bloody it's dead person? It's a guy stabbed with a guy nine... Stabbed with ten swords. Ten. I, mm. Ten swords. Yeah. Well, that's better than nine, I guess. Okay. Um, okay. Okay. Let's save it. Let's save this. Just one more, yeah. though? Like, I one don't, more? Okay, sure. Yeah, yeah. Right. if you want. Okay, sure. Every I single guess. card's been bad. You know what? Let's do, let's yeah. do this. Let no. me pick the third let's, card. Let's... Can I pick let's three down? Yeah, okay. You let's want to skip. Let's just... I don't like how this is all going, so... Yeah, do it this way. This doesn't seem right. Pick any card, yeah. I don't think this is how you do but... Um, any okay. Good? That looks. Change the deck. All right. Uh, well. No, it's the Tower of Babel. It's one of the that, worst cards uh, in the deck. Nice. What the fuck, man? It's misery. That's well, what this one means. Let's put them so, away for now. Let's take yeah. a break. We All have right. a guest coming up. Maybe you could do his tarot reading because that well, sounds like a great idea. Should. Actually, it's I should do get his. Good at some point. Get good. He's a guest. I there's don't yeah, there's good cards in the deck. You guys just have bad futures. Yeah, it seems like you shuffled them all to the top. It's almost like. But uh, tarot doesn't I'm not saying we did. I'm is. just saying this. Uh, yeah, really bad, really bad omen for the show. So, uh, thank you so yeah, much for. Uh, you're welcome. Thank you for doing that. I'm I'm, I'm excited. Uh, to... Would you stick around? Sure. To maybe do some. Okay. Yeah, great. can only get better. Um. Okay. So our first guest, uh, he's one of my better friends. Uh, I'd say one of my best friends. I I grew up with him. Uh, from after the age of 23, till. Uh, 30. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I, I slept on his floor. We told jokes about bat catchers, mitts, and stuff. So, I'm going to bring him out right now. He writes for this hour, it's 22 minutes. You'll love him. His name's Bob Kerr. Bob Kerr, everybody. Hey. Hey. This <laughs> is the most interesting uh, introduction I've ever received. Yeah? Yeah. Well, it's all true. You <laughs> know, we grew up together after 23. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That moment, that time of growing was with you. Yeah. I guess we did grow together. Yeah. Because uh, then did, you did sleep on my floor. 
Yeah. In, in my dorm. Yeah, we went to comedy school together, and I lived yeah. in Oakville, so I just crashed on his floor, which he regretted quite a it few times. It was very frustrating, because Dan, I believe Dan suffers from severe sleep apnea. <laughs> you, that's not and, a belief. Oh, no, it's it's a fact? Okay. Well, I mean, yeah. Oh, yeah, I don't I believe one. I confirm that one. Well, like, <laughs> that one of those machines? No, no, no. You should get one, because you, you could die. And uh, I couldn't sleep at all, because uh, he his snoring was... So, like it's a robust. It's, the, the room was, the room was tiny. Dan's on my floor. I'm on the bed. That's the whole real estate of the room. And Dan, and then I remember Dan, like if Dan maybe rolls over or whatever and stops snoring, and then I'd be like, "Here's my chance." And then I'd get <laughs> so amped up to sleep that I just couldn't do it because I was too. I was like, now! <laughs> <laughs> and this was after, like, so much time of just trying to talk to you. Yeah. Because I just, I'm like a kid. Like, I, I'm, I know. I'm just, this is after, like, you kept me up. because. Do you like, like anybody? <laughs> yeah. On a scale of one to ten. No. We would also How much make, do you like me? We would make up, like, jokes. Yeah, really bad knock-knock jokes. Really? And, like... You know, like a baseball mitt walks into the bar. <laughs> yeah, that, that was, what was it? It was like, I think a baseball mitt walks into the bar and asks the bartender for a free drink, and the bartender says, like, you got a lot of balls or something like that. Yeah. They're bad. They're really bad. A lot of zombies walking into the bar, I remember. Yeah. A lot of walking into a bar. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we were in college back then. Yeah. Bars were all Yeah, there. it was a whole course. <laughs> Walk into a bar 101. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, we were basically studying for the big test. Yeah. <laughs> that was a fun time. It was a weird school. Yeah, it was a. It was, it a was weird... like going to Hogwarts. <laughs> was there a knock knock joke class <laughs> with no magic? <laughs> well, that was the thing. There was a knock knock class, but we we never got into it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that, I mean, that makes perfect yeah. sense to me. Yeah, yeah. that's that's of, why you guys were the first year, right? Yeah, they're, they're still figuring it out. out. Yeah, they're was still it, figuring the, everything out. The sorting out. hat was like, no, you're Riddlers. <laughs> oh my god, we yeah. were. I would say that we were probably the Gryffindors. <laughs> oh well, that that makes sense. I mean, personally, <laughs> that's what I believe. But yeah, that's we a, had a good group. We did. We had a really good group. First year, we had a good group. Yeah, we, we ended up doing a sketch troupe together named Flossie and the Jube Jubes, and then uh, this, we did the Sketchersons together, and that's, that's where right, I really yeah. know Bob from, is all that stuff. And uh, do you miss doing the Sketchersons shows? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> do you want to think, think about that for a second? Or? We'll take it out of the I edit. It? <laughs> do I want <laughs> No, listen. I did. I did the Sketchersons for what seven or eight years, and yeah. uh, that's like that. Uh, that's a long I, time. Yeah, it, it was enough, and I was, I was happy I did it. It was a great time, but you know, it's time to move on. No, it's true. You could have yeah. like a seven-year-old kid in that time. Yeah. So if it was like, hey, do you want to rejoin the Sketchersons? That's a hard pass. <laughs> but if I was new, but I would do love. it again. If I was a new comedian, if you were a new baby, if I was a brand <laughs> a comedy new comedy baby, baby, yeah. Uh, then yeah, you should absolutely do it again. So what was your first big thing that you did after the Sketchersons? Like, what was like the next step for you? Uh, Can you after your the Sketchersons? Yeah. Well, I mean, like, I did. The first time I went to 22 Minutes was 12 years ago. Okay. And that was when I was in the Sketchersons. Crazy. I think maybe the next big thing after what, after I left could have been Hotbox. Hotbox. Writing for Hotbox, possibly, which was Pat Fortin's show. Yes. So I wrote and uh, acted on some of that. Or was, was it Comedy Inc.? It might have been Comedy Inc. I you guys remember Comedy Inc.? You, you know you don't. Okay. Uh, I do. I remember. I remember. Yeah. Really? I so, remember wow. not liking it very much. Well, not a lot of people did, but... It's uh, like a, it has the best cast, too. It did have a very good cast. It was just cast. like, yeah, it was yeah. one of those shows where it was like... Oh, everybody was great on the cast. Yeah. 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 We're very funny. Uh, and then I uh, did, shortly thereafter, did the Nikki Payne Fun Time Hour. Nikki oh, yeah. Fun Time I remember that. Show. It aired as a one-off, right? But it was yeah. going to be was a, a show. Yeah. I was a cast member. We... Take the pilot. They didn't pick it up, so we they released it as a special, hour long special. Right. That was really funny, actually. Didn't he get sprayed with some crazy? I got sprayed with, with <laughs> with barium, like out of Nikki's ass so hole. Okay. You got a barium. Because I, I was the doctor doing a enema on her. I think. <laughs> it was a very enema. classy show. 
Nikki will be on the show actually <laughs> in May, so She'll she can talk she can about cover it. that. Yeah. I slipped all over the place. It was a lot of fun. So I Googled your name because that's what hard hitting journalists do. <laughs> and um, I didn't find a lot about you. I found um, a bunch about this guy um, also named Robert Kerr. Um, okay. And don't get me wrong, you're interesting, but this yeah. guy is fascinating. <laughs> that's fair. So I wanted to ask you these questions. I'm going to name um, a series of bands, <laughs> and I want you to tell me which one he was in and which one he wasn't. Okay. Okay, the first one is the Bonzo Dog Duda Band. With Jeff Stevens. The second is the new Vaudeville band. That one's, you know, pretty standard. But his uh, his final band, it appears, uh, could have been Bob Kerr's Whoopi Band. So I guess actually my real question is, if you had to join one of those bands, which one would you go for? Uh, so the first one was the Bonzo Doodad. Bonzo Dog Duda Band. Bonzo Dog Duda Band. And, the and then he left was? that for the new Vaudeville Band. The new Vaudeville Band. And uh, and then the last one appears to be Bob Kerr's Whoopi Band, or Whoopi Band. Well, see, now I think I want to join the last one because my name is in it. <laughs> that's all right. That's... So I, that, and I, I think, like, even if I wasn't the leader, like, there was still another Bob, the Bob <laughs> Kerr. You were the second yeah. Bob Kerr? Yeah. yeah, and I just happened to be named Bob Kerr, but I'm, like, playing... I'm just playing like a washboard. That's, that's, I was I, that's go what banjo, I imagine. Yeah. What a whoopee band is. Playing. That makes sense to me. I personally would have gone. I thought you were going to go Bonzo Dog Duda Band, just because. I mean, it's really fun to say. So I, I'm incorrect. That's, well, no, you're right because oh, yeah, which yeah. one would you want to be in? But yeah. I thought for sure it was going to be the first one. Oh, I'm sorry. Wait, it, it, would be, it would be worth it for the moment when the lead Bob Kerr goes to introduce the band. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. And here on Washboard, Bob Kerr. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Well, now yeah. that, you know, no since, relation. Since, <laughs> since you're talking, maybe now's a good time to, oh, uh, oh, yeah. to do, do you want to yeah. get your tarot cards? Do you want to get Yeah, I want to get, uh, okay. oh, I have my, you want to read my yeah, tarot yeah, cards? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. We'll do this. Okay, you've got to like, just put your hand on the deck and think about something because otherwise it'll take too long. It'll be, okay. Okay. You ready? Maybe just take three at once. How about okay, that? Is sure. That yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do this. Okay, okay, three at once. Yeah. Okay, this is your past. Oh, the star. That's you. Um, oh, okay. Yeah. Is that a good one? That no, it's, it's not actually a good card, oh. but it's fine. And then Jesus. this is your present. You've got swords at your neck. Blindfolded with swords. And then this is fine. your future. Is someone uh, holding on to all their wealth? You know what's interesting? When you told me to think of something, mm -hmm. right? I honestly thought of stars. Oh, like the yeah. band? No, 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 not the band. <laughs> the Canadian band from the two, the Ots? No, I did not. Also, that. stars on the. Are we nine stars? for nine with and shitty tarot? Are, you know what? Um, this one just means a choice, and uh, neither of the choices are good. Good. Right. So Either that's choice. Like eight for nine with one. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's so, get back to tw uh, twenty-two minutes. I didn't yeah, learn anything okay. about that. Uh, that was okay. Um, right. That's okay. You know, it's not your fault. You don't choose what tarot cards you get. You know, right? I, you're right. It's luck. Um, but the card, the deck is a bit of a downer. Um, and I did break up with that yeah. magician. So uh, this hour is twenty-two minutes. Did you like doing it? Are you still doing it? Right? Yeah, I'm still doing so it. You better so like I do it. like it. Yeah. You better like it. <laughs> Uh, no, it's actually it's like I love seeing uh, the online stuff that you do like when uh, when you put it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I which, do. Which online stuff? Well, just like any time you have like a thing that you're you're actually on camera that I'm doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, I just enjoy it. And, Thanks, uh, man. Yeah. Yeah, I recently did a, a one where I was just uh, complaining about really small things. Yeah. Like. Um, I was complaining about sharp cereal and uh, <laughs> uh, uh, tipping jars at frozen yogurt places, and um, uh, yeah, that's because right. you, it's you you get the all that you do it all yourself. Yeah. So why is it there? It's not fair. And uh, it's not fair. It's it's very Twainian. It's, it's not fair to even ask for that too. But uh, it's not, and I you know yeah. Anyways, uh, and it was couched on this thing of like. When you're like a white, straight white guy, yeah, you gotta find. Well, when everything goes your way, you have to find something to bitch about. Yes. So, anyways, <laughs> it got a lot of hate. Oh, really? On <laughs> there was a lot of like, there was people liked. It. Some people liked it, but other people really hated it and hated me and kept calling me Jared Fogel. Wow. Yeah. That's insane. Yeah, because because you know I'm bigger and I wear glasses. I think that's it. Wow, that's like uh, the best you can do, internet? Come on, try harder. Yeah, I mean, 
That's like a pretty generic look. Does it, does, it hurt, does that hurt you? Like when you see comments and stuff, do you take them to heart? Like do you, is that, or have you trained yourself to like, just like, be like that's probably an I eight think year actually, old saying something about me. I, don't I just kind of like, love yeah. anybody's just spending the time, spending any of their time talking about me. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> You're in their head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just like I that got, Cranberries and, lyric. And it was funny because they were complaining about the video, which <laughs> oh, was like, all. that kind of proves my point. You're just, you're, you're yeah. just, you have nothing to complain <laughs> about. So you might, you're just bitching about the video. Yeah, is there a, is there a song lyric that you can think of that? <laughs> <laughs> no. Did you see, what was, why'd you ask that today? Online, you I asked, like, I you like want to know people's about, favorite song lyrics I are. like, well, because I was thinking of, a song lyric uh, from Leonard Cohen. Okay, which one? Um, uh, there's a crack in everything. That's the way the light gets in. Okay. That's how the light gets in. Yeah. And I was like, it's such a profound lyric. And I was like, I wonder what other profound lyrics are out there. Mm. And then you know, I, that people yeah. really like. And then you put a Smash Mouth lyric in. Sir. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's not surprising. Just, at all. <laughs> no. From All Star. Yeah, it was. It was. I'm surprised you didn't just preemptively put that in the comments because you but also, know, Dan's I, coming with I, want, I, I wanted Dan to do something. I specified that it was a lyric by Jim Smash Mouth. <laughs> <laughs> um, Mr. Jim Smash. Yeah, I always thought that'd be funny if like the lead singer of Smash Mouth's name was Smash Mouth. Like that's why the band was called Smash Mouth. Yeah. It's like no, no, no. I'm also Smash Mouth. Yeah, I, don't know. I just thought that was so dumb. And then on the washboard, Bob Kerr. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, so the other thing I wanted to talk to you about was uh, you were doing a Trash Mind co- a podcast, which was like yeah. a, a podcast where you kind of d- delved into people's. Uh, psyches and their depression and anxiety. And uh, yeah, it's a, it's a podcast. Uh, I've only done ten episodes, and then I stopped doing it for a while because I was busy. And uh, so I I would call it a season. Okay. Even though it's ten episodes, who cares? Well, that's a season. Uh, listen, I can do what I want. Was there a rule for a season? <laughs> <laughs> There's no hard rules. Like okay. Two seasons of British television. Yeah, it's pretty close. That's like yeah. three. Yeah, I would have actually. I should have done a Christmas special. Are you gonna do more? Uh, yes. Uh, what? Are you gonna do more? <laughs> yeah, I'd like Black to do man. more. Um, uh, I think I want to do more. And basically, what it is is we're just talking about our stupid, silly hang-ups, but also we get into we can get into stuff about depression or anxiety. Uh, talking about other comics, there is no shortage of comics that no. uh, deal with anxiety and depression, but it's not like a depressing podcast to listen to. It's just something that's like a little... It's, it's more Bob's beneath friends with everybody surface. too, so it's a very friendly hangout, but yeah. people are feeling more open to say things that maybe they wouldn't normally say. I cried on your podcast. I opened up a lot. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, it was... Uh, felt weird. It was uh, really awkward. Felt super weird when no. I... It was so awkward. It was... Um, <laughs> It was it was touching. I thought it was uh, really. It just I, needed a good crack. It was a really good. It was a nice real moment that yeah. happened, and uh, I'm, I'm feeling I'm, weird about it. Yeah, uh, it got, <laughs> got I got a lot of people. Still, we did this like last summer. And you're still feeling weird about it. I just it. sleep over things like that. I I, uh, I just had a lot of people comment about it, and it seemed like they were really supportive and they liked it. You know, yeah. but uh, the more people that mentioned that to me, um, just uh, I feel really. Um, I'd love it if you take it down, but, uh... What? That episode, but, uh... The, where you cry? Because you cried on it? Yeah, or just, yeah. It doesn't matter. We'll talk about it later. Um, I mean, people who've listened to it... Have no, you don't have to take it, it down. So. It's fine. It's, uh, I did it, and it's over, and, yeah. uh... But it was fun. It was a, it was a fun time. <laughs> okay. <laughs> take it down, but it was fun. No, no, I don't want to take it down, but I, when I first heard it, I was like, oh, God, I hope he takes it down. I feel um, like this is this could be a podcast where you're, we should do a podcast episode where you're talking about how you're hung up on the, your last episode. Yeah. Or just a podcast for people that regret doing other people's yeah, podcasts. Yeah. Just like, I, I, did, I said I'd do it, yeah, and yeah, I hated yeah. it. I hated it, and I wish he would just take it down. For sure. Yeah. Uh, well, we'll talk about it. But thanks for having me on it. I was like, I always feel like honored when uh, people ask me to do well, stuff. Thanks for doing it. How's the audience feel about anything? Um, they are super interested in all the things that we're talking about. So nobody so said long. anything. Well, I mean, no, no, no. That's uh, my relative out there. She said hi to us. Um, otherwise, I've said a bunch of things. Um, Toby was watching us. I said hi to him. He didn't say hi back, but I don't think that means. So there's no like questions me. at this point. 
Oh wait, Matt McGrail says hi, Bobby. That's not a question. Oh, that's it's not a, a question. I know. Question. I know Matt. Matt's uh, from my hometown. Who wants to say hi? I was just excited to see a name down there. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, I, well, whatever. I have Listen, another question. Change your questions. There's an Ask Anything hi, segment at the end of the show. So uh, seriously, though, start asking some questions so we can uh, have those at the end of the show. And if you don't, I'll just uh, we'll just make it up. We'll have fun. We'll have a good time, and you know. Uh, no pressure. Yeah. Have people ask questions at the end of my segment. Thanks. <laughs> no wonder. You like music, right? Yeah, yeah I do like music. <laughs> well, are, you I've, are, I've been known to like music. Uh, what's and your, by the way, I I listened to, you were suggesting the monophonics. Yeah. I listened to it today. I, I showered to the monophonics today. Yeah? It was really great. They're so good, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Check out the monophonics. They're like this... They sound old, but they're new, and they have lots of yeah. albums, and they're it's every like song. It's like 70s funk jazz. It's awesome. Oh, man. Uh, you're going to Milwaukee to see Primus? Yeah, I bought a VIP pass to see Primus, so it's like a meet and greet, and I get to meet my heroes, because I've loved Primus ever since I was You seem to like, have a pretty good luck meeting your heroes. Yeah, I, uh, I uh, held hands. <laughs> I, like... I was at a Nick Cave concert and uh, he took my hand and was like singing into my face twice and it's that's crazy. It's like I feel immortal. That's it. Just totally reminds me of this time me and my buddy G Rant, who you know, we went to a corn concert and we were in the five hundred <laughs> level and uh, Jonathan Davis pointed at us and was like, "You guys rock!" Like from yeah. the stage. Yeah, like, really. There was a lot of people there, but you could tell that like he was talking we to were, you too. Oh, we were just singled out. Where were your seats? This is at the ACC. In the 500 levels. Oh, yeah. It was crazy. It just it made you feel so special, and it was just, like, By really way, cool. I did tell you this, but Corn is uh, on the field. You can't make some dates on the South American tour, so. 12-year-old Rob tennis. Trio's 12-year-old son is playing bass for Corn. <laughs> I'm sorry, what? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's a real fact. Yeah. Yeah. They're having a 12-year-old. If you've never been playing. to a Corn concert, now is the time to go. Uh, yeah. I'm going to yeah. say, either Korn's music requires very limited bass experience, or that child is a bass genius. Yeah. <laughs> well, one or the other. If you listen to both. any Korn songs, I believe he's just slapping the B string. Yeah. <laughs> they go like this. They go, bow, 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 Yeah, yeah, bom, bom, bom. yeah. That's yeah, yeah. Korn. Oh, I could do that. You know who actually Korn. is nothing like yeah. Korn? Is our uh, musical guest today. Oh. Uh, I think you guys will enjoy her quite a bit. She doesn't have a 12-year-old bassist. But she does have a cool name, and that name is Jackie Pirico. Oh yeah, and don't wear it out. <laughs> it's cold out here and I have to tune, just one sec. Just one sec. Is so much people watching me live from home? Let's just see how it goes. That's gonna have to do, it's cold out here, okay? This is a cover, this is my own song.
I'm so happy. Sweet. That was just, it was beautiful. Thank Do you. you. Mind if I read your tarot? Sure, I'll get a tarot. Okay. This is. Oh. Oh. Um, Oof. It's a heart not pain. Great. I've got another one. Oh. Do you have a different one? Yeah. Can okay. I give that one back? That one's also. Ooh, ooh. Just hermiting. That looks really. Ugh. That looks like a bad future. You know what? Why, why don't you pull one? Okay. Oh, this one's hot. <laughs> oh. Oh, maybe it's me. Is it you? It could be me. Because it ain't me. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> so, I just, uh, it's not that I don't want it up. I don't mind it up. But I feel like I come across like a crybaby. No, no, no. Have you heard it recently? Well... Yeah, I, I, I listen to it it's a lot. A, it's a good episode, and actually, to, to be honest, it's like, um, it's one of, it's, I think, my most downloaded episode. Please take it down. <laughs> I'm, no, I'm not. I can't. Please. Why? Sorry, you don't have to watch this. There's uh, actually a magician yeah, Airbnb in my bedroom. You can go check him out. Just please take it down. Mm -hmm. How about you take it down this year? That's right. Okay. We got Steve. What? He's a shoddy magician. <laughs> We've all been mystified tonight, and now it's time to alchemistify you. Do you want to see a real trick, Toronto? Let's kick it up! Do not open until tonight! And tonight's the night! Oh, <laughs> 
Okay, and for my final trick, I, uh, I want to do something actually really special tonight. There's someone who I want to reach out to, uh, who probably is watching on Facebook Live right now. You know who you are. We've been dating for seven years. And things have been going pretty well. Better than expected. And so I have a little thing I want to... Before we even get started, it's not much, honey. But I wanted to say from the bottom of my heart, I love you so goddamn much. Will you... Whoa! Not bad, eh? Thank you. Oh, I'm so tired about the crying. Crying. No, I don't give a shit. Take Stop it off. It. Get your fucking hand off my neck. Okay, sorry. Just take off the part Dude, where I cry. It's just fuck. It's crying. Please, just, just just go to Josh. Josh, intro the uh, thing. Please. Oh. Tonight in the bathroom. Tonight in the bathroom, guys. We've got Fraser Young. Woo hey everyone, it is great to be here. You know, when I first started out uh, doing stand-up comedy, a lot of people told me I would never play Dan Gallia's bathtub. Well, what's up now, haters, huh? We got it all going on. I'm here. I got the Dove trio with me right over here. Oh my God, Dove, huh? More like Dove, am I right? <laughs> it was up top, and now it's on the bottom, so it, uh, it uh, dove down there. Dan, I might owe you a new uh, exfoliating uh, gentle body wash. Uh, it's possible. Anyway, uh, oh my god, so many great things going on for me. I'm on the, on the season two premiere of the DG special. I'm doing stand-up in a bathtub. I got, uh, I got a beer from wonderful Woodhouse Brewing Company. Everything's going uh, great for me. I recently bought a PlayStation 4. Oh my God, big news right there. I call it a PS4. Uh, you know, if, I, if I'm in like a real hurry, but I still want to talk about video games. Uh, when I was buying uh, my, uh, my PlayStation 4, my PS4, I, of course, I told my wife that I was getting it for our son. But obviously, in reality, I don't have a son. Uh, or a wife, for that matter. I have uh, these are those things. I don't know why I was talking out loud. All I do with my time is, uh, is play NHL 17, and it's a great life, is what I'm saying right there. I would say that's the closest I've come to writing a joke since I got a PS4. <laughs> Overall, real proud of myself. I think, uh, I think I made the extra effort right there. I don't need anything else other than NHL 17. That's all I need. About you can tell me I'm wasting my life, but understand that when you tell me that, you are arguing with a 30 times... You are arguing with a 37 times Stanley Cup winner. Listen, I've been to the Brewing Company for that one. Overall, it's a wonderful joke. <laughs> Uh, my girlfriend is, uh, is very active. I don't, have, I don't have a wife, I have a girlfriend. It's pretty much the same thing, except we don't have a piece of paper. It's great. And uh, so uh, she's very active. She went out and did the, uh, the West Coast Trail recently. I don't know if anyone here has ever done the West Coast Trail. I'm getting three solid nods <laughs> from this huge crowd. It is, uh, it is a trail on the, on the West Coast of Canada. It's, very, it's a hiking, it's adventure. It is not for me because of this overall in general. I'm a person who does uh, stand-up comedy in bathtubs. I don't go outdoors so much. And so, uh, so she went over there, and it's, it's very dangerous terrain, right? Very, very tricky terrain. And so at one point, she was out there with, with three friends, and, uh, and they're hiking along. She's going up a hill. They have walking poles. She slips, almost falls off the side of the hill, and dies, which she obviously didn't. You know that she didn't die, or I wouldn't be talking about it in this wonderful bathtub. That would not be something for a stand-up comedy. So, uh, so she not died, but on her way down, she slammed her, her face into the pole and just fucked her eye. Like, just boom, smash. And, uh, and so, like, her friends were all freaking out, and she was, uh, they're like, oh, my God, what are we going to do? And she's like, we're going to finish this trail. And so it's like, it's like a five, seven-day trip. Seven-day, seven-day trip. There, there's, like, hiking all day. She, her eye was, like, all swollen shut. Her eye was closed for two days, couldn't see anything. She's still doing this trail. So, and here's the other thing about West Coast Trail. There's no, there's no communication at all. There's no, there's no cell towers. There's no nothing. I haven't seen her forever. There's no way of getting in touch with me. She comes back. She flies back. Her eye is 
a little bit healed by now, you know what I mean? It's not as bad, like she can see out of it now, but it's still a mess. And so I was like, oh my God, what happened? She told me a story, I was like, holy shit, like what an amazing, I can't even believe this adventure you had, I can't believe you did this. And then she was like, oh yeah, so what'd you do? And I was like, nothing, I did nothing all week. I won three more Stanley Cups, it was, it was a mess. And then, uh, and I was like, oh, also I ate all the food. I ate everything that's food in the house, anything that legally can be considered not poison is in my body right now. So if you want any food at all, we need to go to the grocery store immediately. And then she was all like, yeah, I want food. And then so, uh, so we go to the grocery store, and I don't know if anyone here has ever been uh, to the grocery store with a girlfriend when she's got a black eye, but there is like a real quick, look at her, look at me, and I totally get that. That's called being aware of domestic violence statistics in this country. It's called uh, playing the percentages. 100%, I get that. Uh, I, I get that 100%. I would say the only thing going in my favor maybe was that her eye looked so bad that people were like, well, there's no way this fucking guy did that. You know what I mean? Like, this little puss didn't put anyone in that condition. Anyway, you guys have been a wonderful audience. Thank you very much, everyone. This has been great. I love you, man. Yeah, I love you, too. I mean, just, just freak out. I just, uh... You just get, you, no. I shouldn't go through the throat right away. I should talk to people. <laughs> you should not go through... That's, that's charge. I could press charge. Salt. Yeah. Okay. No, and it's it. on video. That's on video, and I'm filming it myself. Yeah. Anyways, uh, here's what I was going to propose. Maybe we uh, put it up to a vote, and if everyone thinks it's a good idea, you can take that <coughs> that episode of Trash Mind down. Okay, so I, I'm I'm in full favor of putting it to a vote. Awesome. But I'm not going to do anything about Fuck. it. Okay. Cool. I mean, in fact, no. if anything, like this this conversation is probably going to bring more listeners to. So that's true. Well, let's, I still want to put it to a vote. I do like okay. votes, so come on over. Teams that start one and six. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> Jackie Pierka. Thanks. Thank you. Um, this, if you don't, if you think you know this song, you don't know this song, because guess what? I made up. Whoa. What? <laughs> She's covering her own song. <laughs>
<laughs> Ronald Ferry? <laughs> What's your cousin? Dan? Gallia? <laughs> We're cousins. I don't know if you know that. Not true blood. My mom. No, your dad and sister. That was on amazing. the mother's side. Yeah. Thank you so much, Jackie. That Thank was awesome. You. Thank you. Um, and, uh, just Whoa. like that card, Whoa. Whoa. we will disappear. Whoa. Holy Whoa. smoke of rooms. If, if you should see that, Trick from behind the hand. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. This has been the DG Special Episode 1. Join us next week on Wednesday at 9 p.m. for a Season 2, Episode 2. It's going to be so many views. Peace. <laughs>